Um, uh, first of all, just <clears throat> I think our crowd, awesome, awesome. Um, they hung in there with us because we wasn't obviously wasn't a, 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 the start that we wanted, but our crowd hung in there, and they were amazing down the stretch. Uh, so really appreciate in our fans and, and the environment that they give us to play in. And then um, um, also uh, hats off to Florida State. You know, they, they've been a great champion uh, in this conference. They've represented this conference well for the last few years. And um, I told Jimbo that after the game. These guys, they, they, we knew they weren't going to give it up easy. They, they played their butts off. Um, and, uh, but, you know, it was just our, our time. And uh, last year we, we had opportunities to win this game about five different times and, and didn't finish. Uh, but tonight we, we made the plays when we had to have them and we finished. And that was the difference in the game. So really just uh, proud of our guys. That, that was championship football tonight. That was two teams uh, with the same goal. Uh, everybody knew what was on the line and uh, uh, just couldn't be more proud of our team. You know, it's our fourth division championship in seven years. And, uh, you know, it's good to be able to have an opportunity to get back to the ACC championship game and rep represent the Atlantic division. Uh, so we'll look forward to that. Uh, but we got, we got bigger fish to fry and, and more work to do uh, between now and then. Uh, but I'm really proud of our team. I mean, offensively, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, three guys with a, with a hundred plus yards uh, with Deshaun and, and um, over a hundred in rushing and, and Gallman over a hundred and Leggett, I think second tight end in the history of the school to have over a hundred yards receiving. Uh, big night for him. Um, and then, you know, the biggest thing just, you know, Deshaun didn't play well. I mean, you didn't have to he didn't play well the first half. I mean, we, it's one thing when you're missing three-pointers. It's another thing when you're missing layups. And we missed some layups. I mean, like, layups. And made some just – we just we just were a little out of rhythm. Um, so it was good to see us kind of settle in and be who we are. Uh, we, we made some huge, huge plays down the stretch. Uh, but Deshaun Watson, he showed why he's the best quarterback in the country, maybe the best player in the country, um, with his guts and heart that he performed with tonight. And – uh, he put up 400 and something yards of total offense between his passing and his rushing and just made some huge plays for us. He was the difference down the stretch. Uh, special teams, Hugo, that kid, I mean, he's, he's 13 for 13 in the ACC play now on field goals. Uh, and you're talking about a guy that nobody even knew his name uh, before the season. What a great story he is. Uh, really proud of him. Um, defensively, uh, they scored in less than 60 seconds, and that's not how we wanted to start. But for the next 59 minutes, they didn't, they didn't get a touchdown. Uh, and that's, that's the thing I'm most proud of of our defense. Uh, they couldn't score another touchdown. Uh, Dalvin Cook, <laughs> what a player. Uh, he had 150 yards in the first half, but he only had 44 in the second half. It's a four-quarter game. And so I'm just proud of, the, of, of you know, how we kept our poise and our composure and just kind of kept plugging along. Uh, the big thing I told this team was it was going to come down to the trenches, and it did. I mean, fourth and one, uh, championship game, uh, division championship game. And, uh, you know, I, I, if I'm Jimbo, I'm, going, I'm doing the same thing. Uh, but we made the stop. And I uh, was just proud of our guys. Uh, B.J. Goodson, I think, had two sacks, three and a half tackles for loss. Ben Bolware. He didn't play very good last week, but, buddy, he, he made some huge plays tonight. You, you don't get him two weeks in a row. Um, a huge, huge strip at the end of the game. Uh, Baker with the interception. They were 2 of 12 on third down, but um, just a great win, you know. Uh, 41 wins for our seniors, and um, the second winningest group now. Got a chance to tie the all-time group next week, and I'm proud of those guys. They, they, they provided great uh, leadership uh, for us, but – you know, again, for us, we, we still got a lot of work to do. The best is yet to come. We got business to handle. We'll come back and get ready for, for Syracuse and look forward to going up to New York and competing against those guys. Uh, it's good to be in control of our destiny. It's good to, to, you know, be in the driver's seat. We just need to keep two hands on the wheel uh, and, and not, not lose our focus and get distracted. Uh, but uh, this was a big one, and I, I just could not be more happy for our team. And, and it's only the third time in the history of Clemson to be 9-0. and uh, So, you know, this is the best of times. This is the good old days. And uh, I tell our players every day, man, enjoy it, smell the roses, have fun. And, uh, man, let's just keep, let's just keep plugging. Uh, you know, just continue to do what we do and do it together. Any questions?
That might be Justin the first Schumer. time we've ever heard Deshaun actually admit that he was frustrated. How much picking him up did you and maybe some of his teammates have to do at halftime? Well, I went straight to him at halftime. Me and him had a little little one on one uh, because he, we needed to get him dialed in. Uh, you don't win these games if your best players don't play well. This is not rocket science. Uh, you, your best players got to play well, and uh, so. Uh, he, he just, he was frustrated. I mean, he was a little jacked up. I mean, we missed Leggett by a mile, uh, you know, wide open down the middle. Uh, we missed, you know, Gallman. We, we just, we had some, Miss Sharon, we just had some really, some easy plays for him that we didn't make. And, uh, but, you know, what we talked about at halftime was let's get him in rhythm. Uh, and, and the screens were huge for us. But then I tell you, the, the drive right before the half really kind of got him going. Even though we had the, the the you know, uh, just poor poor play, uh, spiking the ball on third down. Uh, outside of that, what a drive! And I just felt like that's kind of what we need to get going here. And uh, so, you know, we got it going. And then, but but the the biggest thing was the fourth quarter. Our guys got stronger as the game went, uh, and and we just kept plugging. We stayed patient. Uh, they changed a few things up as far as how they were attacking us. Um, and so the screens were big for us. We caught them in some blitzes. Uh, and the screens, you know, I mean, Sharon had some huge plays. Obviously, obviously, uh, uh, Dion had, had the big play on the screen. Uh, Gallman, we, we just were able to uh, keep them off balance a little bit, slow them down. And then we finally got our inside zone going uh, on the big one at the end. Uh, but, in, but to be able to finish the game uh, and kind of take it over in the trenches, on both sides, offensive line and defensive line, that's exactly what we thought the game would come down to. And so I'm just proud of our guys, um, you know, for, for their heart and their toughness and their guts because that's what it takes to, to win those type of games.